Today! Hope day! We're doing fancy beer. <laughs> this is Lindsman's Van Bros Raspberry Limbic Beer. <laughs> Did I get that right, baby? I think so. They're out of Belgium, Germany. Um, they've been making beer for over 500 years. Uh, since, I guess, 500 years. It says 1822 on it. It's a, it, it can only be made in a really small section yeah. of Germany. They make these in small batches, and they release them. Uh, well, they only make it October through <laughs> May. So the guys that distribute this are out of Washington. I guess I should show it instead of be looking at it. <laughs> so, I don't know, can you see that pretty good? Yeah. Okay. Um, these come in at, we're going to do two. We're going to do one this week and one next week. Um, these come in at 4% alcohol by volume. And, oh, uh, what is it? The arom they're done by aromatic yeast. So I guess they just leave the lid off. It's a natural brewing process. So just hanging it out there. That's why they only do it between October and May. All right. And I gotta find out how to get into this thing. It's literally the same way they did it 500 years ago. <sighs> Dang it. Dang it. There we go. And that's... Ew. Oh, it looks like it's got a cork. No, it's not a cork. Just a cap. Uh, probably not supposed to off. No. Because <laughs> it's fancy beer. <sighs> wow. They do not want you to get into this. There we go. Oh! What the hell? I told you! It looked like it had a cork cap. <laughs> it's a cork cap! <laughs> Okay, so they're gonna make you work for it, I guess. It's a fancy beer, so I guess this keeps it fresh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus, here we go. Oh, and it says Lindsman on it, on the cork. Cool. I guess so. This is, and they they weren't that much. Uh, these ran what five ninety eight a piece or six ninety eight something like that. Yeah. So they're not too bad. But we wanted some fancy beer, so we can, you know, drink them with. Oh wow. Ooh, it smells really good, though. I thought it was going to be red because it's made with cherries. No, I'm, this isn't the cherry one. Oh, raspberry. This is the raspberry. Ooh. It smells like raspberry beer, which is good because that's what it is. <laughs> I'll give you this one. Try that one out. Okay. Ooh. So it's got about a half pinky ahead that kind of dissipates pretty fast, but man, it's carbonated. But it smells it raspberry. It does smell like raspberries. I'm very I mean, not like a really now. potent, strong it, It's like you no, can smell. No, it smells like real raspberries. Yeah, you can smell the beer, but you can also smell the raspberries, the malts, the yeast. So you can smell that, but it's got that ra like that real raspberry kick at the end when you're smelling it. Don't say anything. I seen you sipping on it. <laughs> and the lacing on this is pretty badass. Ooh. <laughs> it's like a tart raspberry. It's so good, right? <laughs> you can still taste the malts. You can taste a little bit of the yeast. 
But that raspberry is like a real raspberry. You know how it's tart at the end? It's sweet and then tart. You know, I bet this is like if wine and beer had a baby. Ooh, maybe. <laughs> they did have a cork. I'm saying. I'm just saying. If a beer and a bottle of wine had a baby, that's what this would be. It's that's, so good. That's why they had they had the cork and they had the lid. Maybe mm. that's what happened. I don't know. I wasn't there. If this is if this is how they made beer 500 years ago, I don't know why they ever changed it. This is the bomb. The raspberry is so good in this. It's not sweet. It's and it's got that that tartness at the end. Mm -hmm. Not dry whatsoever. This is a good beer for like springtime. Uh, you can't see through it like whatsoever. It's pretty cloudy. So it's probably not filtered. It's probably just a lot of raspberry in it. Oh, it's so good. And you, it is, it's a little oily. But it's, God, this is a good beer. See, this, this is a good change. Fancy beer. This is the favorite beer I've ever had. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> the favorite beer. This could be like a romantic dinner date night beer. It does have that tartness <laughs> kick at the end. Um, but it said uh, rich, sweet, raspberry flavor and character. Um, but it's all natural flavors and sweeteners. So it's got a lot of raspberry and it must have. So no. Um, the Lensman, I can't even pronounce half of that. What is it? Fram, fram, fram Rose. Frambrose <laughs> Raspberry Lambic Beer. Um, it's a good girly beer. I like it. <laughs> this is my favorite beer. Like, there is no other beer out there that I like more than this. Um, this even beats the Not Your Father's Root Beers and stuff. It is good. Um, it, it's some work to get into it, though. You gotta be ready. I mean, you gotta use every bit of that bottle opener. It's worth the effort, though. All right. Um, it's beer wine. That that's what it reminds me of, though. It's got that bitter wine taste, but it always it, it also tastes like beer. Mm -hmm. So you kind of get the best of both worlds on it. I bet Danielle would like this. <laughs> okay, so we had a little glitch. <laughs> Always make sure you have enough room in your video card to finish a whole video. <laughs> so anyways, that's what we got for today. Um, that's the Lindemere's Frambros Raspberry Lambic Beer from Germany. Um, I love that stuff. So, we will see you Friday and... Our Friday videos, we're going to do a couple of moonshines. So we have uh, ooh, cherry, strawberry, and blackberry. And we also have, this is one I can't wait for, the butter pecan. So we're going to do some moonshines. That'll be on our Fridays. I don't know which ones yet, but we'll see you Friday. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>